In a conversation about faith with a skeptic, they may say, I can't make myself believe something if there's no evidence. And there's no evidence God exists. What would you say? Evidence comes in different forms. Imagine you returned home from a night out to find the kitchen garbage turned over, trash strewn about, and your shoes chewed up. Meanwhile, your dog is sleeping quietly in the other room. There are some things you know and some things you don't know. Fortunately, you never set up your surveillance camera, so you don't have any direct evidence. But everything you see suggests that your dog misbehaved before falling asleep. Is it possible that your neighbor came over and messed up your house? Yes, but unless you have an unusual neighbor, it's not going to be the best explanation. Now, if we look for the best explanation for the world we live in, here's what we find. First, God is the best explanation of the origin of the universe. In the past, it was believed that the universe was eternal. But today, theists and atheists alike agree that there was a beginning when matter, energy, space, and time came into being. Denying a creator, atheists are required to believe that everything we see came out of nothing. Experience and science tell us that something can't come from nothing. We have never seen it happen. But here we are. What's the best explanation? That something came from nothing? Or that something outside our universe caused the universe to exist? In any other context, we recognize that something can't come from nothing. We should in this context as well. A creator is the best explanation for the fact that the universe exists at all. Second, God is the best explanation for the fine-tuned universe. Not only does the universe exist, but it contains a delicate balance of conditions that not only allow matter to exist, but life to be possible. From the strength of gravity, to the size of the moon, to the tilt of the earth, hundreds of conditions had to be just perfect at exactly the same time for life on earth to be possible. Now, what's the best explanation for this fine-tuned environment. No one looks at a watch and assumes it was created by an explosion at a watch factory. No one sees graffiti on a wall and assumes a paint truck was involved in an accident. When we see evidence of design, we assume there was a designer because logic and experience tell us that order doesn't come from disorder. Do coincidences happen? Yes, but not hundreds or millions of them at exactly the same time. If you want to believe God doesn't exist, you will find a reason. You might also convince yourself that your neighbor and not your dog messed up your house. But that doesn't make it the best explanation for what you know. Let's review. Next time someone tells you there is no evidence for God, remember these two things. God is the best explanation for the origin of the universe. If God didn't make the universe, that means it made itself, and that doesn't make any sense. God is the best explanation for the fine-tuned universe. The universe is filled with intelligence, order, and evidence of design. In every other area, when we see design, we assume there was a designer. It's the best explanation here as well. For What Would You Say? I'm Joseph Backel.